my sons Dutch and Kemp start talking about Pokemon Go a little bit. That some girl, did you hear about this game called Pokemon Go? And a girl found it, a dead body. And I'm like, get out of here. It's the next day at the rec hall where they hang out. Everyone's talking about Pokemon Go. My son Jake gets out of Boy Scout camp, and it like spreads like wildfire as soon as there was communication that Pokemon Go is a new thing. Do you know about it yet, Rich? Oh, well, the, I know. Well, the it. app I've seen where you, wherever you are, you can put the Pokemon, like, are, is that what you're talking no, about? No, you find them. That's like my stepdaughter's obsessed wherever with you Pokemon. Are. Oh, she is already? Oh, she's already collected 36 of them, oh, God. which so apparently my, is a lot in that world. Oh, it is huge. <laughs> my, my kids are all over all the finding Pokemons inside the mansion. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, wherever you go with the camera, right? With your phone? It gets you to go outside. It's a very clever game. It gets the kids to go outside and explore. And it uses GPS on your phone wherever right. you are. And it pops up. And they have placed these Pokemons on your phone. And you've got to go tag them. But you have to be outside looking for them. So you see kids holding up phones in their faces walking around aimlessly looking like zombies. Mm -hmm. It's so true. There were two kids at the grocery store yesterday and we were like, oh, they're doing Pokemon Go and they're just walking around without yeah. their parents. We're like, where's these kids' parents? Now, once you find whatever location you are, let's say your, your, your stepdaughter finds one in the grocery store, does that mean that nobody else can find the one in that grocery store? Oh, I don't know the answer to that. Know. I don't know. But my kids, like, they're out in this golf course and people are golfing and they're like walking in the middle of a freaking guy's about to nail him in the golf ball and they're like, there's a Pokemon out here. And they get in the house. There's six Pokemon in this house. Let's go. And I was like, stop. Stop. I like, like you guys are pretty damn active before and you were away from that, away from the video games. But now you've combined being outside and being outside and I get this game is good for couch potato kids, but my kids were already outside. But now it's annoying seeing them outside on their phones. You know what I mean? Of course. <laughs> it's really annoying. But I'm, I'm not into it. My stepdaughter texted my husband, I found one in the neighbor's yard, but I didn't want to go get him because I didn't want to trespass. I was like, well, hey, at least she knows there's limits there. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like your boys would have jumped that fence. Like they would have oh been in the neighbor's yard. They're all over the place. Right? <laughs> I, I can't even begin to explain. Well, at least Kyle's stepdaughter gets it. I mean, that's exactly what's going on in my world right now. Fortunately, we had to move into this mansion, so it rocked their world a little bit, but Pokemon Go is still very active. <laughs> and it's only been around for like four days or I something. Know, yeah, it's, I I've, know. I've seen it taken off because they've been covering it on like the NBC nightly news. It's been that big where they're talking about the sensation of it all. Oh, there's oh, memes yeah. already Millions. out. Have you seen the memes yet? Uh, Michelle Obama, it took her eight years to get people to get their go outside and run. You know, her whole I yeah. run campaign. <laughs> it took Pokemon two days yeah. to get kids outside to lose weight <laughs> so and get out active. <laughs>